take a look at all this stuff. Well, we're going to be doing some more tests with this multimeter here because I killed it on the last video. And now it works perfect. And so we're going to try it again. So there's some batteries. There's eight of them, I think. And we're going to test them all out. So I'm going to put it on the 20 volts scale on the DC side because that's the next number higher than what we're looking for. We're looking for about one and a half volts. So technically you could go to the two volt scale, but what if the battery somehow goes over two volts? Then you're going to make your meter go out of the limit. And so we're going to put it down one. And we're going to test the first battery. If it's good, then we're going to put it in a little pile up over here. And if it's bad, it's going to be up over here. Okay? So we're starting with battery number one. Now these are rechargeable batteries, so they're rated at 1.2 volts, not 1.5. And so we're actually good there. That's a good battery. Okay. Dos. Right about the same. That one's a good one too. Tres. Ah, it's rolling away. Okay, yeah, that's the only thing about doing it on the suitcase. Oops. Okay, I'm probing it weird. Okay. That one's good. What? Man, these runaway batteries, I swear. 1.25 volts. No, oh, that was right. 0.55 volts. Yeah, this battery's dead. So that's a bad battery. Why are they so, like, off-level? There we go. This battery... It's a good battery. And... The other inner cell... 0.7 volts. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. And last battery. As you can tell, I don't use the inner cell ones because I don't like the charger that it came with. I probed them backwards. Whatever, it's still 1.26 volts regardless. So those are the good versus the bad AA batteries. So now we're going to move on to 9 volt batteries. Hello and welcome to How Much Does It Weigh? No, I'm just kidding. But this is the scale that we use and it does have a 9 volt battery in it. So we're going to go ahead and test that. And I recorded a Thursday review a while ago of this thermometer. And guess what? It also has a 9 volt battery. Again, I'm still on the 20 volt DC scale because that's as far up as I'm really going to measure. There's no battery I'm measuring is going to be over 20 volts. That's as much as it can measure. See, if I were on this mode probing 9 volt batteries, well, l let me just show you what it would do. So if I'm on this mode, see it moves the decimal over, so we're going to try out this battery first. So, the so my meter just goes 1, saying, yeah, I can't read that. So what you actually have to do is you got to switch it up to the 20 volt DC mode, switch it to the next mode up, and then guess what? It'll actually probe beyond 2 volts. 7.74 volts is for this one? Weird. Well, it's for the scale. Um, apparently it's not the best battery in the world, but it's not bad, so I'm going to put it in the good pile. This is the scale, this is the battery from the thermometer. I'm going to flip it this way again. 7.81 volts. So they're actually roughly the same, but believe it or not, this battery is kind of dying in this thermometer. Because whenever you actually have the screen on and the laser on, it always shows a low battery symbol. Ready to see some lithium batteries? There we go. There we go. <laughs> this is a lithium battery from a camcorder that's actually older than I am. Um, this camcorder here is from 1999, and <laughs> we're going to begin now with this. So, at fir so first of all, we're going to read the thing. So this says 7.4 volts. That's what it's rated for. 7.4 volts. This one here, I think, is 6 volts. Um, and so we're going to... Yeah, 6 volts. It says I'm in the bottom corner. You probably can't read it. But, uh, we're going to probe both of these. 
and we're going to see if they're at 7.4 volts or 6 volts. Okay, so they actually do mark them positive T, C, and negative. i got to be 100% fully honest. I'm not sure what the T and the C stand for, but I know it has to do with the context. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to block it. Look at that. You see it? 8 volts. So it actually charged over 7.4 volts. Which is okay, you know? So it says it's rated at 7.4 volts, but it's actually 8. Okay, this one rated at 6 volts. It has positive, a T, and a negative. It doesn't have the C. 0.94 volts. And, yeah. As you could probably imagine, the camcorder does not even turn on. Um, no motors go, because it takes VHS-C tapes. Nothing happens. Now, we're going to move on to testing continuity. And so when testing continuity, you move it down to this speaker here. And of course, if you want to test the buzzer, you can absolutely do that by touching the two probe leads together. I can test for continuity. So I've got a cord here, and I've got this little snake drill thing where you can bend it into any shape you want, and it has two metal ends on it. So if we want to see if we can run any type of current through this wire, it's a phone charger, well it's the old iPhone charger, but um, if we want to see if we can run anything between this wire and this wire, if it's, if it's possible, then let's go ahead and do that. Okay, this is, you kind of need more than two hands to do this stuff. And it beeps. We're good. We're good to go. We can actually do it. Now, if we want, we could also test something that's not even a wire. But let's say you wanted to make it into a, a wire for some really weird reason. Or maybe you wanted to co connect alligator clip leads to here and actually be able to run current through here. Let's see if we can actually do that. Can it work? Yes, it can. So if you wanted to, you could connect alligator kip clip leads to the ends here and run through the rest of your circuit. That would not really be recommended because it's not a wire. <laughs> it would probably be better if you used wire for that, but that just goes to show you really can test for continuity on just about anything and see if it works. I'll see you next week with a more normal Thursday review. Um... Yeah, because this week's original did not turn out. So that is probing batteries and extra tests using the voltmeter.